Welcome to the Name the Player Challenge. Today's challenge is 1990 Upper Deck. Here's how the challenge works. I will reveal the player on the card without showing their name. See how many players you can guess correctly. Post your score in the comments below and see if you can beat my score. Hello everyone, welcome to Good Times Card Collector and um, today we're doing Name the Player Challenge. Today's challenge is 1990 Upper Deck Baseball. We're looking at 15 cards. Um, my average has gone down to 25%, uh, so hoping to bump that up today with 90 uh, Upper Deck. I'm fairly familiar with 90 Upper Deck, so 25%. So I'm going to go for 5. My goal is 5. 33% bump up my um, average a little bit. I like to be over 30%. I want to be hitting 300 with my cards. Right now I'm a 250 hitter, so um, if I'm not swinging for the fences. I need to bring it up. So let's just see what we get here. All right, first card. Name the player. Athletics pitcher. Can you name the player? 41. I'm just going to say Eric Burns. I have no idea who that is. Let's see. It is Jim Corsi. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that one. Okay, next card. Another pitcher. Detroit Tigers. With a stash. This guy might have been even in um, in the box breaker stash video here. Maybe if you saw that, you would have a leg up on this identification. Name that player. I have no idea who that is. So it is Geronimo Gomero Hernandez. All right, next card. Another pitcher. This time it is the Orioles. You can see a little bit of his jersey. The question is, can you name that pitcher? Looks like number 23. Orioles, 1990. I'm gonna say Brian Anderson. For some reason, the name Brian Anderson pops into my head. It is Kevin Hickey, so not even, not even a Brian or an Anderson. Our next card. Ah. Oh, taking a mulligan on this one. It was the wrong way. I saw his card, so we'll lose that one. Hopefully, the next one I can see before. There we go. Okay, right, next one. Oh, it's a collector's choice checklist card, and it's a Dodger. Oh no. Everybody should get this one. If you don't get this one, yeah. That is Oral Hershiser, unfortunately. So that's one right. Quite a way to get going here with that card. Let's see if this, no, I don't see any diamond. Let's go this way. Let's see if the diamond's here. There we go. Okay. Next card First baseman. Oh, I wonder who that could be. First baseman for the Giants. How can we not know who that is? If you don't, it's alright, but I definitely need to know that that is definitely Will Clark. Alright, that's two. Let's see if this one's going the right way. I need all the chances I can get. I don't need any more. Alright, next card. Another Giant. Oh, a Padre. Oh, he's got his Got his flip-up shades under his cap, with his cap flipped up. Pirates, can you name that player? Pirates, uh, I mean not Pirates, I'm gonna say Padres. Uh, I just, I, I don't have any idea who that is. I feel like I recognize him, but maybe when I see his name, it is Jack Clark. See, that's, that's what happened to Jack Clark. Jack Clark is that guy where I see his face, I'm like, I know that guy, but I can't come up with his name. He's been in like three of these. I'm surprised I haven't figured it out by now. Let's see, 
diamond, no. Gotta flip this around. Let's see if we can name that player. With the twins. Catcher. Twins catcher. 1990 twins catcher. Can you name that player? I have no idea who that is. It is Brian Harper. Oh, how can I miss Brian Harper? Next card, if it's going the right way. Oh, it's a hologram card. Let's get that out of the way. Who is it? Royals. Pretty sweet. All right, next card. Let's see if it's going the right way. And these have just been killing me. These upper deck cards killing me. Back and forth. All right, there's a diamond. Okay. Next card. Second baseman for the Athletics. Can you name that player? I'm going to guess that that is Lance Blankenship. It is. All right, Lance Blankenship. Pretty proud of that one. All right, that's three. Two more to go. Let's see if this is going the right way. Nope, it isn't. This way. Next card. Pitcher for the Cubs. Can you name that player? Pitcher on the Cubs, 90. Looks like he's wearing 45. I'm going to guess that that is Paul Ossenmacher. For some reason, that name comes in my head. And is it? Oh, it is Paul Ossenmacher. All right. Wow, that's one of those ones where I totally just pulled that out of nowhere. I just the name came and I got it. All right, so that's four. Look for the diamond. Nope. This way. All right, DH. Oh, that should be a little easier. DH for the oh the Angels. DH. Can you name that player? Oh man, I have no. Who is that guy? Ninety. DH on the Angels, so he can't field. This hits. I do not know who that is. It is Brian Downing. You got a Diamond King, Brian Downing. Next one. Outfielder for the Royals. Number 30. Can you name that player? Royals outfielder, number 30. I'm going to guess Kevin Seitzer. Even though I think he's a shortstop, but for some reason that, that name comes in my head. It is Pat Tabler. Oh, we had Pat, I had Pat Tabler last time, I think. Pat Tabler. Next one. I'm just going to do them for you. And I'm just going to take my four. So let's see if you can name the player. Shortstop. On the Phillies, can you name that player? Phillies shortstop, 1990. Bad thing is, I think I actually would have got this one. It is Dickie Thon. Next one, two more to go. Catcher, Atlanta Braves. Can you name that player? Atlanta Braves catcher. Who is it? It is Jody Davis. Final card. I got four. See if you can beat four. Your last chance. It's a first baseman. On the Indians. Can you name that player? Indians first baseman. It is. Pete O'Brien. Well, that concludes our name the break, our name the player challenge. I got four. I got kind of hosed on those last cards because they were flipped front back, and I tried to flip them around, but I ended up seeing a little bit of the name, so um, I couldn't count it. So I got four. How many did you get? Leave it down in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, be sure to check in on Tuesdays and Thursdays for new Name the Player challenges.